Morning, everyone. Morning. Morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Great to see so many of you. Chase. How are we going? We've got Shep. Excellent. We've got Zach. We've got the Armstrong girls. Lockie Birham. Awesome. Hey, Sean. Hamish. Oscar. G'day, Sienna. Oh, Sienna, your camera's working. Hey, Sienna. How are you? Got Zoe, Bridey, awesome guys. Scout, how you going, mate? Was that was that lazy big brother of yours? See you around, Scout. What's he doing? G'day, Reed. How are you, mate? Was that lazy daddy yours? Is he going to do a workout or what? What's he up to? <laughs> Grace, hi Grace. Hey Xavier. Jenkins family got the crew there. Excellent guys, awesome. Come on. Got the music nats. Awesome. Alessandra, Leon, Jackson, Molly. What's up, Molly? Molly, you were just you were just real quiet on Tuesday. I was hoping you were gonna up and about. I, once I realized you're in here, I was like, oh yes, Molly's gonna be in my ear the whole time, talking smack to me, laughing at me doing all the exercises. Jamie, how you going? Jamie Paxton, Cam Vreesen, the Prendergast boys, big Colton, awesome guys. All right, just give us a quick thumbs up. If you can hear me, I'm going to get started. Everyone hear me okay? Yep, thumbs up. Awesome, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to spotlight myself here uh, really, really quickly. Now, which one's that? Well, I'll get confused with all the different cameras, so that should be... There we go. Okay, guys, so you know you need a drink bottle. You need your basketball. Uh, you're going to need a skipping rope. Uh, what else are we going to need today? You need, if you're outside or if you're on a hard surface, you will need... Uh, <laughs> we uh you need a you need a like a yoga mat or if you're on the carpet you should be okay we might we're going to try and get through our core exercises today we didn't get to them because i talked for too long on uh on tuesday we'll try and get to some core exercises with our basketball but we'll get cracking with a warm-up if everyone's ready to go uh you won't need your basketball for the first part of this warm-up so you're just going to step away from the camera we're just going to get our bodies moving um I can see you guys here on the screen. You don't have to have your screen on if you don't want, guys. Absolutely fine. Um, we're going to have some trivia. We'll probably do the trivia right at the end as we do our as, as we do our warm down today. So we can do some stretching and stuff like that, and you guys can come right up close to the camera and answer the questions and stuff like that. Um, if at any stage anyone's got any questions, just chuck it in the chat. I can see the chat there. Um, I can see the chat will pop up, and I'll come and answer the questions. So, all right, let's get moving. Because uh, I'm conscious of time, I want to get through it all today. So, um, for those that weren't here Tuesday, okay, um, you just kind of learn as we go through. Most of the exercises are going to be fairly similar. We've got a structure of about three exercises. Once we do our warm up, we've got three exercises, and we do them in like a high interval sort of a, a high intensity interval sort of a fashion. So, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off for three rounds. I'll quickly go through each exercise before the start of that round. Um, the first one's um, just a cardio sort of a round. Second one's core. Last one's strength. And then we've got a big finisher before we do our trivia and sign off for the day. So our warm-up. We will need our skipping rope for the warm-up. So get that nearby. But for starters, we're just going to be jogging on the spot. So three, two, one. We're just jogging on the spot for, uh, for 30 seconds. Here we go. Let's just get the body moving a little bit. Arms pumping. We're just on the balls of our feet. Just nice and easy. I can see a few of you are outside today. That's unreal. It's a beautiful morning. So if it's not too cold, get outside. It is a great opportunity to get some fresh air, start your day before you've got to do some homeschooling or whatever you've got planned for today. And then hopefully you can get back outside this afternoon and get a workout in. All right, that's 30 seconds. We're going to go straight into high knees. So we're just driving our knees up. So pretty much the same movement, but just really starting to... Drive those knees up a little bit, pump those arms. Really good opportunity. You can even go into like a skip if you wanted to. If you want to turn this into an A skip, if you've done these before, this is just a terrific exercise to work on your sprint technique and look like an absolute legend at the same time. So here we go, five seconds left of these. 
All right. We got star jumps or uh, star jumps or seal jacks. Okay, so star jumps if you haven't done them before, pretty easy. Arms up, legs out at the same time. Seal jacks. The only difference is arms come across your body. Okay, thirty seconds. Here we go. A bit harder for me to see my watch here. I've got to get a quick glimpse as it goes past. Here we go. Starting to get our heart rate up a little bit. Here we go. Good job, guys. Excellent. 10 seconds. Quick glimpse as my watch goes past. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. 10 body weight squats. So if you haven't done squats before, absolute staple of our strength. Anything we do, squatting, looks like a jump shot, looks like defensive stance. We've got to get really proficient at that squat movement. So we're just going to go to 10 body weight squats. So if you haven't done it before, bend your knees, bend your hips, sit back on an imaginary chair. Slowly down, quick on the way up. Pace of this session will be a little bit quicker to Tuesday. Seven. Three more, eight, nine, 10. But you go at your pace, okay? All right, last one. We're gonna go five on each leg before we get our skipping going. Five on each leg, arabesques. So if you did them on Tuesday, you should know. You may have done them with me before. You may have done them as a part of your warm-up with your team. We start on one leg. So I'm on my right and my left knee up and I'm just bending and pointing my, bringing my chest to point to the, uh, to the concrete, but I'm keeping my back straight and I'm keeping my raised leg activated and then swing through. So it's a bit of a hamstring stretch, bit of balance, bit of, uh, here's a really fancy word for you guys, bit of proprioception, which just means learning where our body is in space and having to balance and land, things like that. We're just gonna do five of these on each leg. If you have trouble balancing, just focus on like a, a rock or a leaf or a line in the concrete or carpet or whatever you've got there and try and focus in on one spot. Don't let your eyes wander around everywhere. If you're having trouble balancing, here we go. Good job, guys. Well done. Awesome. Okay, grab your skipping ropes. Grab your skipping ropes. We're gonna go just really quickly into a bit of skipping. Um, Hopefully, if you don't have a skipping rope, that's okay. You can just do what I call like pogo hops. So just on the balls of your feet, little hops. Okay, it's essentially the same thing. You just don't have the arm movement. Or if you've got a line, like a, a line in the concrete carpet or floorboards or whatever, you can just do little side to side hops if you want, same thing, okay? But skipping, if you don't have a skipping rope, try and get one. You can get them from Kmart. You can click and collect even during lockdown. Uh, I think they're like two bucks, okay? They're, they're, this is just such a great tool to have in your kit bag to bring to games and things like that. Just don't skip on court one because you you might wreck the paint and then everyone will get mad at me because I've done that before. But uh, if you skip off to the side, it's a great way to warm up and get the body moving. So we're just going to go, we're going to go three rounds of 20 seconds and 10 seconds rest before we get into our first circuit, okay? Three, two, one. So 20 seconds of skipping. Let's go pretty hard for 20. Pretty hard for 20. I'm just doing two feet to start the day. Pretty hard for 20. Well, this is even harder to see my watch. Keep going. Keep going. That's 10 seconds. I'm just gonna have to count in my head. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, 10 seconds rest. Now I can see it. 10 seconds rest and we're back into our second one. Three. Two, one, here we go, 20 seconds hard. Really try and get that rope moving. If you don't have the rope, just those pogo hops on the spot. That's 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. 10 seconds rest, last one before we go into our uh, cardio circuit. Five, four, three, two, 
One, here we go. Last 20. Last round of 20. Skipping rope will come back out later. Good job. Good work, guys. Excellent. You can see everyone working there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right. Skipping rope. Don't, don't, uh, don't throw it away. Keep it somewhere nearby. Really quick drink. That's our warm up done. Hopefully your heart rate's up a little bit. Oh, how's everyone doing? You can see the Hannigan boys now. Awesome. So guys, this is going to be a mixture. Some of you will uh, will have to do sort of the more basic version of these exercises. If we've got some 16s and 18s in this morning's session, I'll give you some more advanced versions of, uh, of what we're doing. Oh. All right, so we're going to need our basketball. So again, we're mixing it up now. We're going to need our basketball for these exercises. Everything, everything is going to be uh, like high intensity for this first, particularly for this first circuit, which is a, a, like a cardio circuit. Um, and it's going to be a mixture of obviously some ball handling, mixture of some ball handling with um, some cardio movements that we're going to be doing, okay? So I'm going to mix it up a little bit today. Our first exercise we're going to do, just because I wasn't super happy with how the high knees work with the dribbling, all right, um, is we're just going to go into uh, like a lunge, okay? We're just going to go lunge forward, okay? But we're dribbling the whole time, so we're pushing back. Lunge forward, pushing back. So we're going to go right leg. Again, all of these exercises are 20 seconds on, 10 off. All right, so I'll tell you if you're going right leg forward, dribbling the whole time, push forward, come back. I'll tell you when you get to 10 seconds, we can swap legs, we can swap to left. Yeah, swap to left, okay? The second exercise of our circuit is going to be um, is just a squat jump with two pound dribbles in between. So we've got the ball in both hands. We jump, pound, pound, jump, pound, pound with the left, jump. Pound, pound with the right, jump, pound, pound with the left, jump, pound, pound. Okay, so we do that for 20, gets our heart rate nice and nice and high. The last one is our skater jump, okay? Now, how we did this on Tuesday, I was thinking about it's not, it wasn't ideal. We were just pushing off to one side, skater, pushing off to one side, skater. That's okay. We, we can keep doing that if you want to challenge yourself to that level, but we can just do like a little skip across. So it's almost like that hesitation dribble and we're pushing off, but we've just got that little pivot in between. You're still getting into that outside leg. But if you want to do the skate a jump, so you're on pushing across, pound in between, that's fine. Okay. There are three exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're going to go in 10 seconds. So the first one is our lunge with a dribble. Lunge with a dribble, squat jump, and our skater jump. Here we go. Give us a thumbs up. Are you guys ready to go? No questions? Awesome. All right, let's get to work. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Right lunge. Keep that dribble alive. Push it out. Push that knee forward. Almost like we're about to take off Past the defender, push off like we're going by a defender. Keep that pound dribble. Here we go, swap to left leg, left leg. Push off, push off like we're going by a defender. How's the handles? Here we go, left. Three, two, one. All right, rest. We've got 10 seconds rest, and then we're into a squat jump with our pound dribble. Three, two, one. Here we go. 20 seconds. Jump, right pound, jump, left pound, jump, right pound, jump, left pound. Here we go. Keep going. Right. Here we go. Left. Good. That's 10. Got 10 seconds to go. Keep working. Jump, land softly, jump, 
You work for five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Rest. 10 seconds rest. We're into our skater jumps or we're into our side skip. Three, two, one. Here we go. 20 seconds work. Push off. Side skip. Drag that trail foot. It's almost like a hesitation dribble. Like you're trying to create some space from the defender. Here we go. Keep going. That's 10 seconds. Side to side. Get low when you come down for that dribble. Good job. Get low. And rest. Good work, guys. That's our first round. We've got three rounds of that. 10 second rest. Heart rate should be up. We're back into our lunges. Three, two, one. Here we go. Right lunges. Pound dribble. Pound dribble. Step forward like you're taking off. Get down nice and low. Good. Here we go. You older kids, or if anyone wants to challenge themselves, you can go through the legs. Swap to left. Left hand, left leg. Step forward. Working on that footwork, as well as getting into that lunge. Tuck in it through the legs if you want. Three, two, one. Rest, good job. 10 seconds rest, jump squats. Jump squats, pound dribble. Three, two, one. Here we go, jump, pound, pound. Jump, pound, pound. Here we go, jump, pound, pound. Jump, down, down. Good job, guys. Keep working. Down, down. Good work. Good work. Here we go. Keep it up. You can see everyone jumping. You've got to be able to jump higher than me. I cannot jump. Here we go. Down, down. Let's go. Five seconds. Good job. Three, two, one. Last one. All right. Here we go. Side to side. Here comes my dog to interrupt and bite me while I'm doing it. Out of the way, Luna. Three, two, one. Here we go. Hesitation side to side. Here we go. Push off. Slide across. Push off. Get a pound dribble in between or a couple of pound dribbles. Get to the side to side. Get all the way across the screen. Get into a pound dribble. Get down nice and low. Here we go. Five seconds. Cool. Push off. Push off that outside leg. Really get some separation. Three, two. One, rest. Good job. Oh, great work. One more round to go. One more round to go and we're into core. Back to our lunges. Here we go. Three, two, we'll get a drink after this. One, here we go. Right leg, pound dribble. Right leg forward, pound dribble. Step back. Come up straight, come down low. Get that pound dribble going. Good. Pound dribble. Pound dribble. Left hand. Let's go. Swap to the left. Good. Pound dribble. Low. Get that pound dribble nice and low. Go between the legs if you want. Just get that lunge down. Three, two, one. Good job. 10 rest. How's everyone doing? Two exercises to go. Good job. All right, here we go. Jump squats, pound dribble. Oh, my voice just broke. Oh, here we, here we go. Jump squats, pound dribble. Let's go. Oh. Right, right. Left, left. Right, right. Oh. Left, left. Keep going, keep going. Get that nice and high when you jump. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. All right, side to side. Side to side. Last one. We'll get a drink. Have a quick break for a minute. Might do some skipping in between. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hesitation across. Down, push off. Down, push off. Down, push off. Good. Push off as far as you can. Side to side. Get some separation. Good job. Keep that crossover nice and low. 
Low to high. Is that hesitation? Oop, we could go into a shot. We could go into another dribble. We could go into an attack dribble. Three, two, one. Awesome work, guys. Whew. Grab a drink. We'll have about 30 seconds rest. We're gonna grab our skipping ropes. We're gonna do some skipping intervals before we get into our core. So make sure if you're doing core, if you're outdoors, you might just need to get a mat or something to lie on. We'll get really quickly through that. We might even just do two sets of that. Quick drink. Ooh, I am sweating. Our sessions, guys, they are what you make of them. Okay, if you wanna go hard, that's great. If you just wanna cruise, that's okay as well. It's not always about just working your bum off. You can come in here and just have a bit of fun. Watch me look like an idiot. Which I know Molly's enjoying. Good job, Molly. Hopefully those hands are nice and warm now. All right, skipping ropes. You'll notice I wanna push a, a bit more of skipping. As it's gonna go, same thing again in between sets. We're just gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, three times. So really quick, minute and a half because our heart rate's come back down now. Let's get that heart rate back up. All about intervals, skipping ropes in three, two, one. Let's go for 20, here we go. As hard as you can for 20 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Build it up now. Let's get that work in nice and early. Nothing better to start your day off, especially a beautiful day like today. Three, two, one and rest, awesome. Whew, here we go. No better start to the day. Get your work in nice and early. Everything else after here's gravy. Three, two, one. Let's go again. Oh, I stood on my rope. Let's go hard, 20 seconds. Push yourself. If you're new to skipping, that's okay. Making mistakes is how you learn. It's how your body learns. You could be doing bigger jumps like this, that's fine. Or little quick ones like this or a jump in between, that's fine. Three, two, one. Whew. Awesome. Okay, last one before we get into core. Three, two, one, here we go. 20 seconds, hard, let's go. Let's go, push it out. Get that heart rate up to 20. Couple of full court sprints. Back on D and then in transition. Let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Keep that rope nearby. Keep that rope nearby. Let's grab our mats. Heart rate's going to come down for a bit. Come to our mat or carpet or whatever you've got or not too dirty piece of uh, concrete, hopefully. All right, so we have, whew, we have three exercises that we're gonna do. Now, you'll see my amazing technological setup here because I've got the, the laptop with you guys, but because I'm coming to the ground, I wanna see you guys on the lap, bringing that near me. Okay, so our first exercise for core. If you've got any questions, feel free to chuck your mic on or chuck them in the chat because I'm moving pretty quickly and some of you might be your first session. So there's no silly question. Well, just silly people like me. All right. First exercise we've got is a Russian twist. I don't know why it's called a Russian twist. Let's call it an Australian twist. It's an Australian twist today. Okay. So what we do with the Australian twist is our feet come up like so. Uh, our feet can wrap over if you want, okay? Or you can just keep your feet together. All right, we're leaning back and we're tapping our basketball side to side. Okay, we're doing that for 20 seconds <clears throat> with 10 seconds rest. All right, you can go faster. You can add a dribble in, add a dribble in, okay? Something like that, whatever you want. That's our Australian twist, okay? Second exercise 
is a toe tap. Okay, so now we're, we're further down on our back. Our feet are up straight and we're up, tapping our toes with the basketball. So it's like a bit like a crunch, but you've got your legs straight. If that's too hard, that's okay. Bring your feet down to the, uh, to the mat and just, and just do a crunch. Who was that? Reed, you got a question? Oh. Oh, all right, hang on. A couple of questions. We get cracking. Uh, where are we? We get the chat down here. I can't go. Oh, there it is. Okay, one second. Sorry, guys. Got some questions. Or someone making fun of me. Oh, okay, it's just Molly making fun of me. Fair enough. I deserve that. That's a good exercise, Molly. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just going to get the washboard abs. That's what you want. Okay, and then the last one we're going to finish off with and you guys will probably hate this, is a 20 second plank. Okay, so we're coming over, we're into a plank. You can either do this. If you really want to challenge yourself, you can do it with both hands on your basketball. Okay, like so. You can do it in a push-up position, top of a push-up. You can do it elbows, hands down, and you can even come down to your knees. All right, so there's varying levels. So we build up from here. You can be on your knees. You can be on your toes, sorry, with your elbows down still. You can be in a push-up position or grab your basketball, both hands on your basketball for 20 seconds. Those are our three core exercises. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. Thumbs up, thumbs up. All right, here we go. We're gonna get cracking. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. In three, we're in the Australian twist to start with Oscar. Here we go, grab your basketballs. Hey, Fletch, how you going? Just saw you pop in there. How you going, mate? Three, two, one, Australian twist. Here we go for 20. Side to side, get that basketball moving side to side. Sean, try and bring your shoulders up, mate. So it's just your bum that's on the ground. Just your bum, your shoulders aren't down. Good job, Sienna, nice and quick. Here we go, keep going, keep going. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Good job, 10 seconds rest. 10 seconds and we're into our toe taps. Now we lie down, Sean. So now we're lying down a bit. Three, two, one. Here we go, ball up to touch our toes. Up, tap, tap. If you need to do just a crunch, you can just do a crunch, bring the ball to your knees. But we're going toes. Here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three. Two, one. Oh, good job. All right, roll it over. We're into our plank. Into our plank, however you want to do it. There's multiple levels. Don't hurt yourself. Don't do anything silly. I'm not trying to break any world records here. We're just staying in shape. Three, two, one. 20 seconds. Here we go. The most important thing is here that whatever shape you come to, you stay in that shape. It's all about stability. All, all about stability, like a statue. Good job, Hannigans. Keep those bums down, Hannigans. All right, if you have to come out of it, come out of it. That's okay. And rest. Good job. Back to the Australian twist. So with the plank, I'd prefer you do it properly for five seconds or ten seconds, then have a break, then come back into it. Don't do it. Don't do it incorrectly for twenty seconds, thinking you're killing it. Do it properly. Have a rest, come out. All right, Australian twist. Three, two, one. Here we go. Australian twist. So we're on. That's it, Sean. That's better. Good job. Good job, Talia. Good job, Bridie. Perfect. Keep those legs up. Good job, Jamie. Excellent. Here we go. Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. Let's speed it up. <clears throat> keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh. Oh. Good job, Kayla. Three, two, one, awesome, good job. Good job, we've got our toe taps. Second round, these are gonna hurt a bit. Let's go, Shep. Toe, toe taps here in three, two, one. We're flat on our back and we're coming up. If you can only do a few of these before you fatigue, come to your crunch, okay? That's fine. Toe taps, here we go. Three, let's go, two, Keep working. And one. 
Good job. Whew. Over into our plank, nearly the end of our second round. How are we doing for time? We're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. Here we go. Got our basketball. You can do them on your arms. You can do them on your hands. You can have your knees down, however you want to do it. Here we go. Plank ready. Three, two, one. There we go. Good job, Zavreeze. Good job, Hamish. The good thing about the plank is I can see you guys mostly. Lockie, good work, mate. Hold that position. Zach, your hands are a little bit too far forward, but you're making that a bit tougher. I respect it. Let's go, Armstrong kids. Good job. Good job. Hannigan boys working hard. Working hard. Good job. You see, Nats, you're out of the camera, but I can see you. I see you back there working hard. Good job. Three, two, and one. Woo. All right, that's the end of our second round. One more round of core. And they're into, a, into our strength stuff. Oh, I am sweating up a storm. I'm either just unfit or this is harder than I imagined, or both. Okay. No comments from you, please, Molly Lansing. I am, I am a supreme athlete. Do not question my fitness, please. Okay, here we go. We're into Australian twists. Australian twists. Three, two, one. Last round. Let's go hard. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. As hard as you can. See if you get as many as you can in here. Push yourself. If you need to have a break, because you're fatiguing, that's okay. Oh, geez, Sienna. Wow, I can't keep up. Oh, you look like you're in fast forward. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Five, six. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, dear me. Whew. Here we go. Toe taps in 10. Good job, Oscar. My man. These you guys have got some great outdoor setups. It's a beautiful day today. Get as many shots up as you can. Three, two, one. Back we come. Toe taps or crunches. Toe taps or crunches. Oh. Here we go. Under for <sighs> Don't. <sighs> Don't give up on that form though. If you have to come to crunches, come to crunches. I'm coming to crunches. My abs are burning. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, last one, plank. Here we go, last one, plank. Keep working, Sean. I see you there, mate. You're doing what you can. Do what you can, guys. Here we go, we're into our plank. Three. Two, one, finish off, finish off. Here we go. Good job, Jamie. Awesome, Zach, Lockie, well done. Sienna, I lost the ball, good job. Good job, Chase, keep working, I'll see you there. Hold that position, good job, guys. If you have to come down, come down, that's fine. Come down, have a break, come out, come back in. Prefer we keep it better. Don't let those hips sag like this. Don't get those bums up in the air. Here we go. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo. Well done, guys. Put your basketballs at the back. If you've got a mat out, roll it up. We're going to do some skipping. We'll get that heart rate back up again. Grab your skipping ropes, but grab a quick drink first. Before we do our last round, some strength exercises. So... Let's get that heart rate right up with our skipping now because the strength stuff, whilst it is some intervals, whilst it is some intervals, it won't be, won't be all that difficult. Put this camera back up here. Uh, sorry, this laptop. Check the chat. <laughs> Check the chat, but... I know exactly what it's going to be. Just Molly making fun of me. All right, here we go. Supreme athlete, puffing a lot. That is true. Absolutely struggling over here, but that's okay because we're getting better. You guys see me okay? That sun's coming in a bit, coming at me a little bit. Here we go, skipping. So this time we're going to go 30 seconds. We're going to go hard for 30, rest for 10, three times. Hey, Colton. All right, here we go. Three, two, three. One, heart rate up here, let's go. Heart rate up, 30 seconds, that body moving. Get it moving, if you've got a hop in between, 
That's fine. You just find your rhythm, go for 30. Just make sure you're working hard. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 10 extra seconds <clears throat> from now. Three, two, one, hold there, 10 seconds rest. Hold there, 10 seconds rest. Keep working. We're going to our strength to finish. Three, two, one, let's go, 30 seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's work, Blues, come on. Get that heart rate up. Oh, damn. Here we go, keep going. Don't worry if you stuff up or you make a mistake, that's okay. 10 seconds. Uh oh, here comes Luna. Don't get hit by the rope, Luna. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. Last one, rest for 10. Last one, rest for 10. Careful of dogs walking around. They can't see the skipping rope. The amount of times Luna's walked into my skipping rope. Poor thing. All right, three, two, one. Here we go, last round of 30. Last round of 30. Let's build it up. Quick feet, quick feet. We're on the balls of our feet. We're moving. Here we go. Pogo hops, if you need to do pogo hops, that's fine. Not Coco Pops, Pogo hops. Coco Pops comes after. Let's go. Halfway. Let's go. Good job. Line hops, whatever you need to do. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good work. Skipping rope down, but not too far. Grab your basketballs. We're straight into our strength circuit. Oh, we've got some serious chatter going on here now. I like it. Oh, just some socialization between our 12 boys. Well done. Okay, basketball's out. So a couple of similar exercises, but because we did our lunges as a part of our cardio, we're gonna sub something else in here. Okay, all right, boys. Let's not go too chatty, we're, we're here to work out. We can chat after. <laughs> all right, so we've got our squat pulses again. Okay, for you guys that were here Tuesday. So we're down low, we're moving up and down, but we're not coming all the way out and we're not coming too low. So the movement is just here, just like a little movement. And we're going either behind the back dribble, behind the back dribble, or just a straight crossover as we're bouncing. So as we're bouncing, we stay low, stay low. We're crossing over or we're going behind the back. Okay, next exercise. Next exercise, we're just gonna go like a lateral lunge. So we did, we did our, our uh, plyo lunges the other day. We're just gonna sit out to the side to one leg and we're gonna dribble around. You can go figure of eight if you want and then sit into the other leg, figure of eight, sit into the other leg or you can just go pound dribble, cross over and we're sitting down. So it's sort of like a single leg squat. So what it looks like from the side is you sit your bum back but only one knee is bending and you come across to the other side, sit your bum back into the other side for 20, okay? And then our last one is our push up. So you may need your mat if you're doing it on your knees, that's okay. Okay, you may need to put your knees on the mat, that's okay, you don't need to roll it out again, you can just bring your knees to it. We're doing it with one hand on our basketball. Okay, so we come down, roll the ball across, down again, roll the ball across, down again. Okay, if you're on your same thing, come down, roll the ball across, come down, all right? Those are our three exercises. Okay, give me a thumbs up if everyone, everyone happy with that? Thumbs up, thumbs up, Sean, yep, perfect. All right, let's finish this off. So we're gonna go 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. We're into our squat pulses in three, two, one, here we go, let's get down low. 20 seconds behind the back dribble or straight crossovers in front. Let's stay down in this low position. Okay, we're working on our handle. Whoop. Oh, we're staying low, here we go. Making mistakes with your handle is a good thing, particularly with this behind the back dribble. It's fairly advanced, here we go. Should start to feel the whoop. 
should start to feel the burn in your knees a little bit and in your quads, firing up. Three, two, one. Here we go, 10 press. We're into our lateral squat. So we're sitting out. Oh, how's the handle going? We're gonna sit into that lateral squat in three, two, one. Come across, through the legs and the other side. Well, that sun's bright. And across. Here we go, 30 seconds. So all the way across, bend your knees. I don't wanna see it, just stiff leg, get down nice and low. 20 seconds. Oh, I need some sunscreen. That's redheads. We've gotta be careful. Here we go. Keep working, bend that knee, come down as low as you can. Remember it's strength. Sit down into that hip, three, two, one. Good job, push-ups now. You got 10 seconds to get down into your push-up position. Three, two, one. Here we go. There's one. Let's try and get eight to 10 push ups. There's two. There's three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Headphones are coming off. Eight. Go for two more. Two more. Get to 10. Nine. 10. All right. Hop up. Good job. We're back into our squat pulse. We're nearly out of time for this exercise. Here we go. We might only get two rounds of our strength in. That's okay. Three, two, one. Sit down low into our squat. Squat pulse. Don't forget the movement. We want that movement. Don't focus too much on the dribbling. I know there's a lot to do, but we want to have that pulsing movement, working the muscles and tendons of our knees and our ankles. So from the side, we've still got our knees coming forward a little bit over our toes. That's a good basketball. We're still pounding the ball, pounding the ball back and forth. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Lateral lunge again, quads will start burning. Here we go. Three, two, one, here we go. If you don't want to dribble this, you could just wrap it around. Focus a little bit more on the lunge and the squat than the dribble. But if you're comfortable dribbling, you can even just go straight in front. Nice low dribbles. Nice low dribbles. Get that, get that toe on that off leg up like that. That makes sure you're keeping it straight. Feel a little bit of a stretch in that hamstring as you come across. Sit down low. Good job. Five, four, get lower, Zach. Three. Two, one, here we go, push-ups. Push-ups in 10. Three, let's get 10 push-ups again. Two, one, come down. Here we go, here's our first one. One, roll it across. Two, here we go. Three, four, roll it across. Five, halfway, let's go. Roll the ball across, seven, keep that form. Eight, two more, let's go. Good job guys, nine, I see you working. 10, good work. Whew. All right, here we go. <sighs> Nearly there, Nearly there, last round. We'll, we won't get a chance to do our big finish. We'll go last round of this. We'll do some skipping intervals and then we'll get our trivia. If you've got to go and you can't do trivia, that's fine. You guys can go and do your own cool down. So we're into our squat pulses here. We got this, another round of skipping. This is the end of our work here. Let's go, here we go, sit down low. Here we go, we've got our squat pulses. So we're moving our knees, bending our knees up and down as the ball comes across. Let's go, sit down low, come up. So we go from about a three quarter squat to a quarter squat, a three quarter squat, to a quarter squat, here we go. Keep working, last round, we've got about a minute to go, then some skipping, here we go. Get that handle nice and tight as well, but don't focus too much. Three, two, one, awesome. <clears throat> here we go into our lunges in five, four, three, two, one, side to side, sit into that hip, through the legs. 
sit into that hip, get that other toe off the ground. Keep that heel down, rotate that hip a little bit. If you've done these before, sit into that hip. Good work. Good job, keep working, keep working, keep working. Oh, good job, good job. We've got five seconds. Keep pushing, then we've got our push ups. Three, two, one. Good job. Push ups in 10. Here we go. Come down, push ups in three, two, one. There we go. Here's one. Let's get 10. Two. Speed it up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Four. Eight. Here we go. Two to go. Nine. Ten. Here we go. That's the end of our strength. Good job. Grab your skipping ropes. Quick intervals before trivia. Good to go. I've got five minutes. All right, let's go skipping. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, and we will warm down. In three, two, one, let's go. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Got the mat, here we go. Let's finish off, get our heart rate up before we cool down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. 10 seconds rest, two more rounds. I know we're getting, that's quarter past. If anyone's got to go, have brekkie, have a shower. All you're going to miss out on is trivia, which is amazing, but is not that important to our workout. But it is amazing. Here we go. Second round. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's work. Push a bit harder now. Push a bit harder. Let's go. Let's finish this workout off. Good job, Sean. I'll see you there, mate. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Last one. I'm coming to the screen. I'm not trying to be lazy. I promise I'll do my third set, but I want to watch you guys skip. Let's go, Chase. Let's go, Sean. I know skipping's new to a few of us. Colton, good. Jamie, you're, you're a rock star. You got, you, got it, you got it covered. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go hard for 20. Good job. Let's go. Let's go. Bridey, pogo hop. Stay on the balls of your feet. Perfect. Good job, Hamish. Good, Sienna. No skipping inside, mate. Good job. Good job, Chase. Let's go. Push your step. You can go quick in that. Let's go. Good, Lockie. That's okay. Skipping is... We're just going to learn it. Learn by doing. You get that timing down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, guys. Grab a quick drink. Got it? Grab a quick drink, and we're in for trivia. If you have to go, go. That's fine. Get to school. If you've got to head off, if you've got to head off, have an awesome day, beautiful day outside. Hopefully you can, you can uh, get outside in between uh, homeschooling and uh, get some shots up or take the dog for a walk or whatever. If you have to go, just give us a thumbs up. No stress. I've ran over time, but I am going to get into our trivia, which is what we're all here for. Let's be honest. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Let's see if I can work the screen share again. Okay. Oh. And back. All right. Screen share function. Bang. Bang. Can everyone see that? Yep. 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 All right. If you're here Tuesday, you should know the rules. Should know the rules. So thumbs up or an emoji. If you're on an iPad, it's in the top right hand corner where you find the chat where the boys have been chatting away. There's emojis, there's a thumbs up. I think I just did a thumbs up. There's a love heart. Chase is a thumbs up, good job. All right, we're ready to go. So give us a thumbs up or you can just use your camera and give me a thumbs up if you're ready to go. 
That's how you answer the questions as well. All right, here we go. There's the rules. You guys know them. First question. What pick was Josh Giddy selected in the most recent NBA draft? Who's got it? Zach? Go on, Zach. Number six. Well done, mate. What team was he drafted to? Oklahoma City Thunder. Well done, mate. Good job. One to Zach. Here we go. Question two. Name the leading scorer for the Australian Opals at the Tokyo Olympics. See you, Armstrong kids. Good on you. Have a great day. See you later, guys. Good on you. Great to see you. Now, let's get someone different. Who knows that? Leading scorer for the Opals. It's a tough one. She plays in the QBL North. Bridie, do you know it? Is that a thumbs up, Bridie? You want to have a crack? No, not sure. Oh, who knows it? Leading scorer for the Opals. Oh, Australian women's team. Who's, is that the, is that the Hannigans? Do you know Do you guys want to, Hannigans, you want to have a crack? Cormac, Anton, and Ocean, what do we got? Can't, can't hear you. You can type it in. Does anyone know? Yes. Her, name's, her name starts with a C. She plays in um, NBL 1 North, is I it, believe. Um, right. Kayla George. Also, it is Kayla George. Well done. Who got that? Hey, Sienna. Well done, Sienna. Kayla George is correct. What what WNBL team does she play for, Sienna? I don't, I don't know. Melbourne yeah. Boomers. Yeah. Melbourne Boomers. All right, here we go. Question three. Which WNBL team won the 2020 WNBL Championship? We should get this one pretty easy. Let's go someone different. Who knows it? I know. Who knows it? Jenkins. Go Jenkins. Is that a thumbs up? You guys Please? know? Was Not it the Blues. Flyers? Yeah, it yeah, was the Flyers. And what name a player from the Frankston Blues. She's in that photo. There's two of them. Name yeah. a player. For, nah. Jeffrey. It's a trick question. No, nah, it's a trick question. Steph played for Townsville this year. They played against them in the grand final. I knew I'd get someone. Is it, is it Sarai Taylor? Sarai Taylor is one of the correct answers. Good job. The other one is Taylor Gilliam. She's They're both next to each other in the top left-hand corner of that photo. So Sarai with the... Uh, Brown hair, Taylor with the blonde hair. Good job, guys. Okay. Southside Flyers. Good work. Question four. Name the San Antonio Spurs assistant coach. Now, I'll put this one in there because I reckon she's going to be the first female coach in NBA history. Female head coach, sorry. I reckon she's going to get a head coaching gig. Maybe this year, maybe next year. Sienna, do you know it? Or was that the hand up for the last one? It's a, it's a tough one. I'll be really impressed if anyone gets this and doesn't Google it. Oh, Molly. Come on, mate. I've got to challenge you a little bit. Don't don't give me that don't give me that mindset, Molly. You can just figure it. Ask your mum; she'll know for sure. She will one hundred percent know. Off the top, anyone? That's just rude. <laughs> All right, anyone want to have a guess? Her name starts with B. It's obviously Patty in the photo with her. Her name is Becky Hammond. Becky Hammond. So she's the Spurs assistant under Greg Popovich for five years. She's probably going to – I reckon she'll get a head coaching gig, if not this year, next year. She might take over from Pop at uh, San Antonio. So stay tuned for that one. It's a good good one. Okay, this next one is a who am I? Who am I? We should get this pretty early on. I can make this a bit tougher next week, I reckon. <clears throat> who am I? Not me, obviously. I was born and raised in Canberra, Australia. That's for five points. You can have a guess, but if you have a guess, that rules you out for the answer further down the line. Patty Mills. Who, who, who was that? Me, Patty Mills. Oh, Zach, you've, oh, you bloody ruined it, mate. All right, very good. Yeah, Zach gets five points. Well done, Zach. Played college basketball at St. Mary's. Began his NBA career with Portland Trailblazers. Did everyone know that? Started with Portland? Yes. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Best known for San Spurs playing with the Brooklyn Nets. Obviously, had 42 points, nine assists in the bronze medal game. Absolutely unbelievable to win Australia their first medal. It's the great man, Paddy Mills. All right. That's it, guys. Well done. Well done, guys. Zach got that one on born and raised in Canberra. Don't know how you manage that. Well done, Zach. All right, guys. Excellent work today. It was pretty hard, pretty pretty fast, and, and we kept moving the whole time. So I'm really proud of you guys today. It was a hard session. Um, we'll go again Tuesday morning next week. I'll mix it up a little bit. I'll send out some info to your parents about maybe needing some, uh, no worries, Jenkins. See you later, guys. 
maybe some additional equipment or maybe just needing like a wall nearby or something. Hopefully the weather's okay. I'd like to do some passing. Um, found a couple of really cool passing drills. See you later, Molly. Thanks for tearing shreds off me the whole session. Thanks, Rossi. <laughs> Good on you. Thanks. See you guys. See you back. Uh, um, yeah, yeah, next week we might try and do some, um, do some passing or something. Good on you. Uh, it's going to be difficult. So if you've got a wall in your shed or you can get outdoors and the weather's good and you can get to a brick wall, we might do some ball handling into some passing if we can. If we can't, we'll just keep a ball handling and um, sort of high intensity interval focus. But great job today, guys. If you've got schoolwork to do, go and do it. Get outside, uh, drink plenty of water, help your parents with stuff around the house, okay? We'll be back in the stadium soon. Great to see all your faces. Thanks for interacting with me. Um, and I'll see you all again soon. Great work, guys. Yeah. See you. Go, Thank you. Go Thank you. Bye. Go Blues. Woo. See you guys. See you, Colton. Well done, mate. Good on you. See you later. See you, Prendergast boys. Can't see if you're there. I'm assuming you're there. Have a good day. Jody, if you're there, see you guys. See you later.